chapter 12, verse 15, and we'll move from there. Looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God. Fail of the grace of God. My thoughts tonight is that we as individuals do not need to frustrate the grace of God. We do not need to frustrate what he is doing in our lives. You can't have a little bit of sin here and a little bit of sin there and participate in sin and then want to holler and praise the Lord. That will frustrate the grace of God. So the Apostle Paul is saying, looking diligently, looking and seeing with intensity, lest any man fail of the grace of God. The Father is looking individuals that will completely serve Him. And when the Apostle Paul was speaking here, he was speaking to, he, when he, he was going back to the Gentiles, to the people he delivered the word to, to make sure they had not walked back into the law. When we walk back into rules and regulations, we frustrate the grace of God. And there are many people today that are frustrating the grace of God. And I pray, it is my prayer, and I pray it is your prayer, that we do not frustrate, we do not hinder the grace that flows from Calvary's cross, that we do not separate, that we do not stop the grace of God that moves and flows in our lives. We must not hinder the holiness and the righteousness of God by trying to have a little bit of the law, have a little bit of this world and trying to mix it with the grace of God. Least any root of bitterness springing up trouble you. There's a lot of people that have roots of bitterness in their heart and they're in church every Sunday morning. There's a lot of people that are bitter at individuals. If there is no way I could preach the word of the Father if I was bitter with anyone. Do I know that people have hurt me with no reason under the sun other than just plain spitefulness? Yes, I do. But I and you and I cannot be bitter because bitter will stop the flow of the Father. Bitterness will stop a move of God. I believe a move of the Father is coming and is already here in Lewiston, Woodville, North Carolina. I believe the last 12 months has been gradual steps towards us moving into God. There's a lot of bitterness in Lewiston Woodville. There's a lot of people in authority elected, hello, that have bitterness and have woes developed in their mind because I've heard them talk. But when, when we do this, we frustrate the movement and the grace of God. How, how dare us frustrate and move into being bitter with someone. We should never lay 
our head on the pillow at night. We should never lay down at night. And we've got a grudge against someone else. I must love everyone. I must love everyone. No matter if they give a penny or if they give a hundred dollars or if they give a thousand dollars. I must treat, we must treat everyone the same. If you see holes in their socks, or holes in their shoes. And I don't care about the color of the skin either. We're all equal at the foot of the cross of Calvary. Bitterness rises up in people when we think we're better than someone else. Tonight, I'm no better than you. I need you. Hello? I need you, those that are watching. I need you. We need to work together. That's why the Father in 1993 gave me the words, Growing Together Ministry. We need to grow together. And we did a lousy job at it. You know why we did a lousy job of growing together? Because there are individuals that are frustrating the grace of God and they attend church and give big dollars. When we frustrate, God cannot do what he wants to do. We need a little bit of heaven here on earth. We need a little bit of the glory of God. We need to know the glory of God in this tabernacle. I sense the glory of God right now. I sense his presence. <laughs> I sense him moving. Oh, glory to his name. I sense him moving in your life. He's stirring something up right now. He's stirring up things to bring you closer to him. Don't let those people that are bitter slow you down from a move of God. Oh, we haven't seen nothing yet. We need to move in God, ladies and gentlemen. We need to move closer to the throne room. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Any root, any root. Paul was speaking to believers. Any root. Think about that for a minute. Let's slow this train down. Any root in my life, any root of bitterness will frustrate the move of God. There can be one individual that is in this ministry and they're not moving towards the grace of God and they'll stop the rest of us if we don't get in line and handle it. Amen? Amen. If we don't see it and handle it, we will miss the mark of where the Father is taking us. We don't want to frustrate a move of God. Bringing up trouble you. You wonder why so many people are so troubled tonight? Because there's bitterness in their lives. Bitterness is sin. Bitterness is sin. How dare he be upset with anyone that, that was with me and then they turned their back on me? How dare me? 